I, New I, release Wednesday. <laughs> Dropping now. That's hey guys, so we got your NSFW for the week. Yep, yeah, not safe for work. We're not good. safe for work. Although really are any of the things that we talk about safe True. for work. We're not contained. Fuck. Sorry. No. I feel like if we're doing this, I might as well say it once. <laughs> Of course, let's so, do it. So, a handful of weeks back, guys, we talked about all the things that were coming out. I think it was right around San Diego that we were, like, just literally dropping yeah, trailer yeah, after yeah, trailer yeah. after trailer. And one of the ones that we were talking about at the time was Oroville, which was the Seth MacFarlane um, space series that yes. we weren't quite sure whether Fucking it was going to be... Uh, yeah, <laughs> Oroville. Fucking Seth MacFarlane. We didn't know if it was going to be, like, a parody uh. or a spoof. And honestly, I've read reviews on it both ways, but we watched it. Did you yeah. watch it? Yeah, I did. I, did I watched it. The I only thing I really enjoyed about it was Adrian Pilecki. I think it, that's her name. It was yeah. overwhelming. First. It wasn't overwhelming. But it wasn't underwhelming. Too, too it was just whelming. Yeah, too much of a I mean, granted, your Bishop first... Bishop Cosplay shared that. Yeah. It was just whelming. Your, your first... Your first episode of anything is always going to be what's getting out the kinks. What I do appreciate about it is that it was not fully... Family. Seth MacFarlane humor, yeah, where it's yeah. nothing but potty humor right. yeah. and yeah. basically yeah. Family Guy in yet I'll, another. I'll, I'll keep watching. Form. Oh yeah, and and we've mentioned this before is a, Star Trek: Next Generation is the best Star Trek on the planet. Fight me, bro. But the first season sucked. Yeah, it didn't I get mean, good until Riker the came characters. Into the yeah, he did use Riker's beard, fixed it all. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's just kind of like the characters are getting to know each other and whatnot. So I'm I'm still gonna continue to watch. It's yeah. on my DVR. But um, yeah, it was it, to me is I kind of was waiting for that laugh cues. You know, yeah. the kind of like a sitcom. I was yeah. waiting for that That's to fair. pop up. That's fair. And that didn't happen. And some of the jokes just weren't funny. Yeah, or yeah. if they were funny, I'm so too immature to get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Strange. But yeah. um, I I yeah. I like the idea that we're getting a Star Trek type of. I don't even know. Is it a parody? What would we consider homage. it? A homage. Did you like the chemistry between um, Seth and Adrian? I, I think did. They were good. I, was, thought, I, did. I, I thought they were good. Yeah, yeah a lot more okay. believable. Like, it would have been better. He was, okay, I didn't believe him and kind of stuff Mila Kunis, but I believed him and uh, A Million Ways to Die in the West Chick. Mm. And I, I will say what I enjoyed about this is that typically with all this live action stuff, all of McFarlane's best lines are in the previews. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was, n I didn't feel that way with Orville. There were some yeah. pleasant surprises with this one. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, I think it's something we would all probably at least give, give a few another more episode. episode. Well, I mean, yeah. I got excited just watching the preview for the, like, what's coming up for the yeah. next episodes. You see all the creatures, and you see kind of, like, the planets, and I think they did a badass job Norm, on the ships. Norm yeah. MacDonald, oh, yeah, yeah. Norm MacDonald voicing miscellaneous alien was just like, yeah. it's great, it's Norm MacDonald, this is perfect. Yeah. I'm happy. Nice oh, the little squishy alien in the, the, the one of them. The, walkway. Yeah. the one that yeah, sounds that like Norm cool. MacDonald, that's <laughs> Norm MacDonald. <Yeah. laughs> I, didn't, I think I missed the part when it talked because I was. Dizzy. It was when it was yeah. the, the creature that he like ran through. No, right. it was a squishy one. I, I was it was in the, the walkway. Yeah. Oh, babe. Well, let's talk about something that you do remember. Speaking um, of <laughs> drinking, drink. Uh, yeah, preacher, preacher. hit its season like, two yeah. finale. Yeah. So CBR mentions that they're they're talk they're in talks for the third season. Okay. This season, uh, our space was supposed to be sent to hell last season. He's in a diner, and then this season, magically, he's in hell with his buddy Hitler and Hitler is the sympathetic character that That's everybody's so making weird. fun of and like it's very well acted yeah. don't get me wrong but I don't want to compliment Hitler because fuck you um, we punch Nazis all it, around. It has, it has not, that, that's not tied into the book at all. It's one of those like, okay, all right, you're having a little bit of liberties here. But my big gripe with Preacher is, okay, the characters are named after the main characters. But what about this actually holds up to the source material? So this season they brought in the Saint of Killers. It's interesting. They spent a lot of time in New Orleans. Um, the way the show begins, what, you know, Jesse Custer is the main character, right? Them initials, LOL, if we're talking about a book about anti-organized religion, like, I'm Jesus Christ, that seems to be quite, right? Mm -hmm. His name is an anagram for Secret Jesus. Yeah. So, it's, they take liberties talking about, you know, what he was like when he was growing up, and, and they allude to characters that are mm -hmm. in, like, the second or third trade that are just the most fucking vile goddamn characters that Ennis has ever written, and that's fucking saying something. Um... Mm -hmm. And I see where they set up at the end of the season finale. It's better than what the first season. It is That's improved bad. on the first season, but the first season's bar. You've was kind so of been low. up and down this whole season. I know. So I'm kind of shocked that you actually watched it. This when they bother to adhere program. anything to the source, too, anything <laughs> for the the source material, yeah. it's like I'm sorry, Seth Rogen, you're funny, 
You're not a better comic writer than Garth Ennis. Mm -hmm. Quit trying to take the source material. Oh, we can't adapt this, but if I play it this way. No, 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 fuck you. You are not better than Garth Ennis. So, so I've had a problem mm -hmm. when they're going too far, when The Walking Dead can sit down with five writers mm -hmm. and give us The Walking Dead comic yeah. book to life. Mm -hmm. I had that power problem with Powers. I've had it with Preacher. You don't see that with the DCCW shit because LOL, whatever, but they're yeah, not they're bringing like, anything We'll do whatever direct. we want. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm going to get triggered if I keep so, going. <laughs> well, let's but, continue but on that. Look shirt. it up. Yeah. Finish the finish out the season, and let's keep our fingers crossed that they continue. I do. To I it. haven't seen it, but I do want to binge it. I mean, yeah. so give it give it I'll a chance. But I might well. if they, I don't know how many seasons they have left. I love me some Ruth Nega. Yeah. So. Uh, she's, she's oh, I love her. Uh, she's she's wonderful. God, and she's the only one who goes on the Tonight Show this year and is like, yes, I'm in the show called Preacher based on the comic by Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon, where that's love. Everyone else on the fucking show forgets where it came from. So let's You're not forget where I'm looking with them. I got it back. Well, we're, we're not even forgetting where things come from. So you were talking about that with you know uh, Rogan, Seth Rogan, mm -hmm. and Preacher, mm -hmm. Scorsese having his hands on Joker. Oh Real quick, God. any tidbits on that? How do y'all feel about I him love taking Scorsese over? Scorsese as a like a director, like everything he. I, I just think it's gonna be interesting for him to take a comic book character because every movie he does. That's what I'm intrigued. He's gonna Dark Knight it as hard as he can. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. If he read the Dark Knight, who knows? If he just kind of does his cop element and it just happens to be a superhero, I, it could be interesting. Do we yeah. really want? Do we need? Does our community really need a Joker movie though? No, and that's partly where I'm coming from with this. Like, yeah. even though it's Scorsese and it's a big name, I just. We don't need a Joker origin story. I'm not story. intrigued. And the, I'm not the, intrigued. the blowback to the Killing Joke cartoon animated yeah. movie, like. We don't need this. Yeah, it's kind of like, I'm I don't all right know. with it, but I don't know if I wanted DiCaprio. This Jared Joker. Leto coming back, I, then you talked uh, about. I'm not even good with it. I, I love that how yeah. when they reached out and mentioned Leo DiCaprio to be the Joker, he's like, oh, I'll be Stan Lee. I can dig <laughs> that. And everybody's like, whoa. Dude. I was like, whoop, whoop, he knows his place. Speaking of knowing your place, uh, you love all these segues, guys. I, I think know. they're great. Where is this We're going? piecing it all together. <laughs> So there was a lot of uh, hullabaloo about a particular actor who was cast in an ethnic role of which he is not a part of said ethnic group. Yeah, we discussed uh, this. Ed Scrine, 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 who was Ed the villain in Deadpool, Deadpool. Mm -hmm. yeah. cast oh, in the Hellboy movie. Yeah. Francis. Taking over <laughs> an Asian character's role who right. happens to be Japanese. But he didn't know that when he took the part. Yeah. And when he found out, he was like, oh. He's no. like, peace out. Awesome. I'm, Shout out to Ed. I'm going to back off of this because that's not right. I don't feel comfortable. So what they've done now is they have cast um, Daniel Day Kim. Who, who is, is an amazing like, actor. Hawaii Five-0. Hawaii Five-0. Lost is what yes. I first saw him in. Yeah. Yeah. Great guy. But the issue now is that he's not he's Japanese, Korean. he's Korean. Yes, we've been discussing this on the Nerds of Color. You can probably follow more on this story on the Nerds of Color. So shout out to my guys over at the mm -hmm. Knock. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we appreciate Ed. That was He didn't have to do that, but he did. Yeah. We appreciate that love. Last but then, okay, you put the Daniel Day in, who we love, but all Asians aren't the same people. So come on, give us a really? Japanese actor huh. instead huh? of Daniel. Yeah. You know, come on. So Daniel, will he do uh, that? It, it's will nice Daniel step to down? see that they're making that baby Effort. step. Yes. There's the baby step, but we, it obviously we're really far from where we need to be. So well, to be continued when on that story. When he was in hopefully. Lost, I remember he made a point. He either had to relearn whatever language that was. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if the character that he played was his same ethnicity. Yeah. No. Um, but. Yeah. Crazy, I mean, it's, crazy. It's still what we're going through. We're fighting a lot of this in, in movie casting and it's. Yeah. We'll Not talk about fighting. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Just this past Sunday, <laughs> My turn. we had the mid... Oh, you, no, do you know what happened on Sunday? No, I didn't. I was just playing. Well, beyond football, <laughs> shout out to my San Francisco 49ers, although they're sucking right now. Um, we yeah, had the mid-season Walking Dead uh, special that kind of did a recap before they bring it back in October. And oh, was on AMC. season seven is on Netflix. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you want to get caught up before season eight kicks off in what, two weeks? So check yeah. out your, check it out. And also you can go on the DVR yeah. if you missed this last week's episode, which mm. you know how like they do that season mm -hmm. where they recap yeah, everything. Sure. So that's what they aired. But what cool news that led me to looking this up on the internet. <laughs> If you love the Star Wars robot chicken, if you love the DC robot chicken, spot on. Didn't you see? You, you got that right. That was so I did. spot on. I got it. On. I got you, baby. It was like you were listening Someone's to the Someone's playing this at work and their coworkers are surrounding me. What in the fuck? 
fuck are these white people talking about? <laughs> I didn't say robot that. Robot chicken. But I didn't say that because yeah, I miss these guys. We're getting the Walking Dead robot chicken, y'all. Are you all excited? Really, I'm excited. Ridiculous. This was the cartoon or like the animation ridiculous. that I used to sneak ridiculous. downstairs to watch. Oh, so awesome. Because that's Can't so wait. awesome. Be like, no. they, I mean, they partnered up with Jeff Johns to do at least one volume of the DC and then they did another two. But I don't yeah. know if Jeff Johns was there, but that yeah. shit was funny. See, yeah. and I don't even care about Walking Dead anymore. They lost me a while ago. Like, I just I stopped tune giving into a shit. Pop out. But Robot Chicken, come on. Come the fuck on now. Like, that excites me. You know that Jeffrey Dean Morgan greatly. will go and voice, voice a character. You know uh, uh, Yondu, uh, Meryl. You, you know he's going to go my voice dad. a character. I think Andrew Lincoln's oh, probably God. confused he, at the aspect of animation. I can't like, wait to see that. I think it's going to be And who will they bring to come in and yeah. voice, yeah. you know? They've always been fun. They've always just been fucking hysterical. So th th I have no less expectation of this than I've had for anything else. Yeah. It's just fucking hysterical. I can't wait. Come out now. Hi. We want to watch it now. We want them to so see So speaking of things we want to see now, oh, let's just bring this down to the end, guys. Uh, Maze Runner. <laughs> Maze Runner's uh, Wes Ball, the director of Maze Runner. Great series, the Maze Runner series, if you didn't check that mm -hmm. out. Or if we, I think the, the books were better than the movies. But Wes Ball, Always he was the are. director that, which was great. It looked great cinematically. Mm -hmm. That uh, Wes Ball director is uh, taking the Image comic series Mouse Guard, which is an amazing comic. If you haven't read it, I'm going to let y'all borrow it. Is that okay. it's uh, really Ryan cool. Glass and Mike Oming? No. no. But that's another great book. But actually, hold Stemplar. up. I'm getting confused now. Mike You might have. Yeah, Sorry. that's Mike Stemplar. Another great book. Thank you. you we love you, Mike. September 13th. Hello, Brian. But Mouse Guard is getting the, the, the film treatment awesome. with uh, Maze Runner's West Ball. I can't wait. If you're not familiar with the series, if you like, what was those cool classic mouse series cartoons that back in the day growing up that we watched? And they're like, uh, the, where they go to Australia? <gasps> not that Like one. the rescuers? The res not the rescuers. No, no I know what you're talking about. You know, in the it's yard like, and stuff like that. It's just the little really girl cool that stuff. got kidnapped. Oh it's my like god, down under. Is it something down like under? That. The, rescuers the rescuers down, down under. under. Oh, that was, yeah. I don't think that's it. Okay. Okay. What she's talking about is yeah, rescuers down yeah. under. We'll talk that's about it on the show Are you talking about Fievel Goes West? Or like Fievel? Like Fievel? an American Fievel? tale? You know what? I think we're There's always, a lot of my mouse a, stories All those the awesome, if you love my mouse stories, so we just gave you some recommendations. This is along those lines. What the fuck we're talking about, please comment, because none of us have any fun. We're going to find out. I'm going to tell you. But Mouse Guard is along those lines, and you got to check it out. With armor. Mouse. Mice with armor. Mouse with armor. They pick mouse. Rick themselves mouse. Up. Mouse. We've done so much this episode. Yeah. And like, no, but I'm not appreciating that uh, you don't like the Maze Runner movies. I'm sorry. I really love the movies. I didn't see it. He didn't so. say he didn't like them. He just said that the books were better as they he just always They look beautiful he cinematically. He said that the books... No, shut the fuck up. All because right, books are I, always better than the films. Guys, I think we're, we're going to have to cut it here. Uh, unless they get into an actual fist fight about yet more shit. Uh, guys, September 13th. <laughs> In case you, he's been you this all fucking day. It's your NSFW because we're all not safe for work. Fuck. Nope. And cut. All right, let me.